Hi guys. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the software needed to run streaming TV. So if you just got your Fire Stick, you got to get it to the home page and when you get it to the home page, it's going to look something like this. And from here, you're just going to follow my instructions exactly. You're going to go across to settings at the very top. Then you're going to scroll over to My Fire TV. Click on My Fire TV and then click on Developer Options. ADB Debugging is off. Click it and turn it on. Apps from Unknown Sources is also off. Just highlight it, click it, and turn it on. So now they're both on. You're going to go to the home page of your Fire Stick just by clicking the home button on your remote it's going to take you right to the home page and at the top left there's a search feature you're going to go in that search feature and punch in the letter D like Detroit when you put in D the results are underneath you're going to go to downloader open it click it and it's going to take you to this downloader logo right here some of you may already have it installed. If you don't, you're just going to click it. It's going to take you to this page here. It's going to say, download, you own it. Just click it again. And it's going to install it. You click, got it. It's going to install it quickly. And you're going to click it again to open. When you open it, you're going to see this here. You're going to click allow. On the right side, it says allow or deny, you'll click allow. Then you'll click OK on this quick start guide. And then up here, you're going to see something that says enter a URL or search term. You're going to put your cursor in the box. You see your cursor flashing. Then hit the enter button on the remote, which is the center of the circle. If you click the center of the circle, that's the enter button. It's going to bring up this letter board. You're going to type in the following. B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash. The forward slash, if you look under the W, there's a bunch of symbols. Click the symbols. The forward slash is above the dollar sign. Then go back to the ABCs and type in live. L-I-V-E. Then T I V I then M two. So you can pause the video and just make sure you copy this exactly and then click go. And it's going to install something or download. When it's finished in that when it's finished downloading at the very bottom, it's going to say cancel or install. Click highlight install and click install. And it's going to install it. Okay, and then it's going to say open or done. You're going to click done. Now there's two different apps. They're really both the same with a different interface. If you want, you can download the other one. Here I'm going to click on the status bar, I'm going to click delete, and then I'm going to confirm delete. I'm going to go back up into the search term, put my cursor back in the box, hit the enter button on the remote, it's going to bring up that same thread, and if I click delete, I can remove one letter at a time. If I click clear, I'm going to wipe out the whole thing. So let's click delete and take out all the letters up to the first T. So now it says live. Then you're going to put a V. So it says live TV. Then you're going to put in the word smart. Then a V. And then a 2. And you're going to do the same thing. Click go. It's going to download.
Usually it's quicker than this. It should only take a second. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to do the same thing. At the bottom it says cancel or install. You're going to click install. And when it's finished installing, you're going to click done. Then you're going to get the status bar. You'll highlight delete. Then you'll confirm delete. Okay, and then you want to put in Zini TV and Cinema as well. That's your TV show and movie apps. So we're going to go back in the box. We're going to highlight. We're going to press the enter button on the remote. And then we're going to clear out this thread and put in a new thread. T-R-O-Y-P-O-I-N-T. T troypoint.com forward slash cinema. It's going to get your cinema app. Click go. Same process. I'm going to click install. When it's finished installing, click Done. Highlight Delete. Confirm Delete. Go back up into the box. Hit the Enter button on the remote to bring up the thread. And we're going to remove Cinema by clicking Delete and removing one letter at a time. And then we're going to put in Zini. Z I N I same process. Click go. It'll download it. Click install. Then click done. On the status bar, highlight delete, then confirm delete. And now you got your four apps. Okay, so now on your remote, you're going to hold down the home button on the remote to bring up a digital clock on your screen. And on the left, apps is highlighted. You're going to click apps and it's going to bring you to all your apps. These are the four we just downloaded. One, two, three, four. We're going to highlight each one individually. Click the three lines on the remote and then click move to front. We're going to do that with all four. Highlight, click the three lines on the remote, move to front. Move to front, move to front. Okay, now when I go to my home page, click the home button on my remote. All four are there. Okay, so we're going to click Live TV, highlight it, click it, then click Login, then Account Login, and then Any Name. And for Any Name, you're going to put in any two letters. It doesn't matter. I put in AA, then I click Next. And at the top, the board is empty. You're going to put in your username and password that I sent you. If you need it, I'll have it for you anytime. Okay, and then click Next. And then put in your password. I'm just going to cover this up. Put in your password. And then click Next. Okay, and then when you click Next, On the right, you're going to see, you're going to highlight the word next. You're going to see next and back. Highlight the word next and click it. And then you're going to get this. Playlist is processing. Wait for it to be processed. 
And then it says playlist is processed. And on the far right, you'll highlight the word done and click done. And it's going to take you to this page. You're going to get a pop-up about your remote control. You're going to click OK. And then you got your TV Guide grid and black screen in the top left-hand corner. And now you have to do the settings. So click the three lines on the remote. Click Settings. Click General. The third button there is turned on. Highlight it and turn it off. The one underneath that, Confirm Exit, is off. Highlight it and turn it on. Then hit the back button on the remote. Then go into TV Guide. Click it. There's two buttons there that are both turned off. Turn them both on. Update on App Start. Update on Playlist Change. Then hit the back button once. Hit the back button twice. And then hit the three lines again and go into the fourth one. When you highlight the fourth one, it's going to bring up a submenu. In the submenu, click left to highlight the categories and go down to Group Options and click it. And then you're going to go to Manage Groups. Click Manage Groups and here you got all your groups. Well, first you have to, uh, sorry, you're going to have to click, click group sorting and change it. It's on default, change it to manual. Okay, and here you got all your groups. If you have kids, there's an adult section here. You can turn it off. You can turn off any group you want, but you can go back in any time and turn it back on. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up. And I can click reorder groups. And here I can customize my groups so that they appear in the order that I want them in. You can do this at your leisure. You can look back on this and customize your groups. Okay, you can just by, there's a white border around it, click the enter button on the remote to remove the white border. And then you're going to go get a, a group that you watch frequently, like US Entertainment. I highlight it. Hit the enter button on the remote to put a white border around it. Then I can move it up or down. I'm going to take it right to the top. Let's go and get uh, something else like... Uh, Canada Entertainment, Canada Sports. Let's get Canada Entertainment. That's all the Canadian channels. Bring that to the top under USA Entertainment. Okay, so you can customize this any way you want. When you're done, just keep hitting the back button. And then I'll send you a tutorial on how to use this too. Your groups are on the left side, then you can use it, okay? The same thing goes with live TV. You're just going to open it up. Put in your username and password. The same way, any name, username, password. Any name, AA. Next, username. Put in your password. Then click Next. You'll see it there. Then you're going to click Add User. It's going to take you to this screen. I'm going to just click the Enter button again. It's going to download all the channels, movies, and series. You're only going to be using the channels. The other app for Live TV is better. It has more features, which I explain in the other video. Here I'm going to install EPG, which is Electronic Program Guide.
that's imported successfully, I'm going to click the back button on my remote and go into live TV. Then I have all my channels. Okay? And that's how that works. So you're all set. Uh, I have a video on setting up and how to use Zini TV and cinema, and you can look at those too. So if you need anything else, just let me know.